shoot, 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 shoot. I gotta get dressed. We had a problem. Sam went down to the barn and there's a problem. Oh my gosh. Gabby! We gotta go. Sophie! We gotta go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Problem in the barn. This is what I come to. And the first thing I see, I see is all this and I'm like, oh no, a raccoon. Ate all of Willow's, Willow's grain. grain. Ate a lot of this growing wind and didn't touch much of that. All the lids off and the buckets were right here in the floor. Luckily she didn't get the Stella's Pill. pills and stuff. But then I saw this and I'm like, oh no. One of the horses got out. How did he get out? Did somebody not close his stall or did he figure out? There's no way he figured out how to open this. This is not the kind of stall that you can break free of. Finn, uh, oh, I'm panicking. So I texted Fiona and was like, help us. Our horse ate so much grain. He ate so much grain, you guys. Wait. Like, did you explain how much grain he ate? And we are down here to check in. Just wait, wait. Do you have any words? Turns out for. Do you think he's okay? I think he is. Oh. He's against the wall. Good. Hope you're pooping. Hope you're in poop position. So one more pile of poop. So. Beautiful man. Yeah. It's, I mean, I um, love. It needs to be pulled more. Yeah, it will be a little bit each day. Like we just well, started it yesterday. Look. I know, I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, this is long. It needs to be pulled so it's like... Yeah. Anyway, he looks good. So we're here to give you some lunch. Are you he's hungry? Oh, he's nice and cold. Feel his feet. Can we feel... He's like, do you have that medicine for me? We don't. Does he have water? He's cold though. Nice and cold. You're in the best spot, Finny Finn. Look at him. <laughs> This is how you tell if you're Oh, watching. he's cold. He got cold feet. I mean, obviously he just ate the grain. We don't even know when. Sometime between nine o'clock last night and morning. This is why I like to feel my horse all the time. I feel like maybe there's a tick here. It's not working here. Hold on. See? It's skinny. It's hard. What the heck is it? Stay still, dude. It's jabbing him. What is it? I don't know what it is. Can't see it. It doesn't feel like it's alive. So there's a tip. Oh, if you go around in circles, round and round and round and round, and if it's a tick, it'll take its head right out. I don't think it's a tick, though. Feel it. What does it feel like? It's hard, right? Yeah. Dirt. No, it's in his skin. Well, I know what else I need to add to my first aid kit. I don't know what to use. I need tweezers. It's a, it's a thorn. It's a thorn. That's what happens when you let your grass, your horse, go in the grass. I see a lot of ants in this barn now. Yeah, it's a thorn or a piece of wood. What can we do? What can we do? What can we use? Man. So it was a splinter and Sophie got it out. Imagine that. Imagine having a splinter in your head and it's just being uncomfortable. But I guess that's what happens when you do bad things, Mr. Finn. It's <laughs> karma. Karma, yeah. But anyway, we got it out. And I've been rubbing all this coconut oil into his skin and he seems to really enjoy it. But I feel like this is the spot where he's itchy. So I did look at his butt too to make sure that there's no like stuff there making him itchy. He's got a nice butt. You have a nice butt, Finn. Anyways, um, so we are riding him, light riding to get the stuff moving through his body because he doesn't seem comfortable. Like he doesn't seem colic-like. He's pooping. He's eating like crazy. He just pooped out of nervous because he was in the water. Yeah, he just pooped and it was sloppy poop. Sloppy poop. Finn, you're the only. Wow, you really grew. 
I look up and Gabby's head is way above where I'm used to seeing it. Anyway, he seems to really like me to do this. Now I'm gonna do it to Storm too. Oh, there. Uh, anyway, the fact that he's this quiet is what scares me. All right, go ahead. Oh, he was having a screaming fit when I Yeah. Right, dude. He just looked at the hay. He walked by and he looked at the hay and then he looked away. So either he knew he wasn't gonna have any or he was like, I do not want any of that. Gabby thinks, Gabby thinks that Stella is a natural western horse. Mom, um, I wanted to bring you back to the little bar to get on the street. <laughs> I wonder why. This one, um, I pulled on it a little bit and if I got on, it was going to come straight off. So I just had this one So tighten that up. So are you saying that his girth needs to go to a different hole now? No, it goes on three and four. Oh, still? Um, I just put it on. Oh, that belly is so hard. <laughs> All right. Mom, check this to see if it's tight. Yeah, that's tight. But it's, it's gonna tighter than normal. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think this is a good girth, to be honest. He hates Willow's hair, but I actually like it. I mean, it doesn't look the best. It'll grow. She, she hates her forelock, but... Who cares what it looks like because little Willow is going to be super comfortable this summer. Here comes Gabby and Stella. You guys are going to get bored of watching Gabby ride Stella. Why? I don't know. Uh, just what you want around your belly when you uh, do overeat. You want to like my are you going to canter her today? So this week I'm supposed to have, every other week I'm going to have a ride on Polly. So this week I'm supposed to ride Stella. And this guy has been a good, see, he's freaking out about this, this bit. But your mouth isn't sore anymore. You want to ride him in a bitless? No. He needs to learn to get used to it. Yeah. Finn has had five days, but Finn has had five days, I think, since he um, got his teeth done. Four days. He had four days since he had his teeth done. And the vet said it takes about two days for sores to heal. He said he, uh, teeth or mouth sores heal. Yeah, it was a lot better than yesterday. Yeah, uh, heal really fast. But actually, he's been seeming really like slow and low and down. <laughs> but maybe he's all pumped up. He's like, yes, I have the power of the green. Big difference, eh? The other day she rode him without a bit and he went so good. He's literally throwing a fit. I think we should take that bit out. Right, so crazy, you guys. This is a, this whole farm experience has been has been such a a mystery, such a like. There's just so much crazy. Anyway, I was picking up a piece of wood that was in the back of the arena, and I have found this another skeleton. But look at this. It has a working oh, mandible. Like, look at that. Isn't that crazy? No, cool. And gross and oh, cool. Ew, what is that in there? But yeah, it's just like so what do you guys think it is? What? What do you think this is? I'm I'm keeping that. I'm gonna show them my grandson. My grandson? Uh, probably a uh oh, look, I found his groundhog? No. Fisher. A fisher? There's no it cannot be a fisher. Here. There are not fishers here. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you for taking away from my sleep for the rest of this <laughs> summer. What's a fisher? Yeah. Do you really think it's a fisher? I'm going to look up skeletons. 
Fisher skeleton. Wow, look at the teeth. Yeah, I'll come and get it. Look at his ears. I mean, it's cool. Never in my wildest dreams would I, have I ever found anything like this before, okay? I never actually ever dreamed that I would find a skeleton before, but. There's a fisher. <gasps> oh my it's God. It's not exactly yeah, the same. Oh is. no. This is a male fisher. That could be a female one. Look up female fishers. Oh no. Oh, it's a fisher. This is the fisher death camp. It's a crazy animal that is vicious and will eat chickens. Would it's probably like even. It's a tiny bear, but it's not. It, they're really vicious. <laughs> I'm building such a bond with these horses. Sophie had to go pee, so she brought me her horse. And he literally comes and puts his whole entire head right in my lap. And he just lays here and just sits here with me. Like he, he's, I don't know, he's such an affectionate horse. He's a butthead sometimes, but he is such an affectionate horse. If you're itchy, it might be all that grain that you ate, dude. Oh, there you go. Wait, stop for a sec. That's the weirdest feeling when a horse does that to you. Don't bite. Could you imagine? Aww, he's so happy. Aww, like look at how cute this horse is. Yeah. This is not that funny. Like I always looked at horses so differently, but really it's just a dog in a bigger form. All right, get them unpacked. Uh, Blanket sweater? A wet blanket ride. And he's not had that. No, that's okay. Today he's having a light ride. I'm gonna ride him tomorrow so I can um, do bear racing. Stella was such a good girl today in her ride that Gabby uh, jumped off, took the saddle off, and is cooling her out by hand because that's like such a big reward is to get off and say you did a good job. Same with Finn. Do you guys remember when we first got Stella and she was horrified, terrified like crazy of spray bottles? Oh, she still is. She is still scared, but you guys remember she went crazy over them. She will gallop away when she sees the spray bottle. And that's one way to do it. Unless she has like something on her. He's just helping clean up. No, that is still way better than she ever did before. And it's because she, she trusts us. I know she trusts us. You're such a good little horse. Gabby, I'm so proud of you for riding Stella. I know you love to ride Storm more than anybody, so it makes me so happy that you take time to ride her. Yeah, there's carrots. Oh, wait, don't give him any treats. No carrots. No, no carrots. No, no, no. Let's wait till tomorrow and see if all that grain comes out. I'm, I'm going to end today's video, but before I do, I just wanted to talk about Storm being alone out there. It's not the thing that I want to do with him. Um, our trainer comes tomorrow and we're going to try and integrate Storm in. I saw Willow kick her belly two times and then roll, so I was a bit panicked. I just wanted to watch and make sure that she... There's flies. They go like this. I know. Flies. She's just getting rid of flies, but I'm a paranoid owner. Um, anyway, so... I uh, want so I it is my goal for all of our horses to be together. Um, Storm and Finn will be on grass though once uh, Finn gets past the whole 
colic scare since he ate all that grain but um yeah so i don't know what's gonna happen with them we're just gonna keep working on it and changing things up uh but for any of you guys who are like really upset about storm you should know that uh he has mostly most of his life lived on his own he is i don't even know how to what to say like he when he lived at fiona's um, he was really mean to Stella, like really mean to her. And I know that that's a hierarchy in the herd. Um, but a lot of leaders, a lot of horses that are the leaders, like Blue was the leader before, and he was a silent, quiet, good leader. He led that herd, made them all behave, but only when he needed to do that. He didn't, he didn't like just be mean. Like Storm is actually kind of mean. Like he runs Finn off the food 24 seven. He doesn't ever let him have a second of being calm. Like he's just, I don't know. He's like power hungry. I don't even know how to describe it. But anyway, um, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with Storm being like that. It's just that he needs the right herd for him. He needs, uh, Fiona used to change his herd all the time and put him in a herd with someone who was stronger than him that could like get him down, yeah, her knock him carrot. down. She's not allowed to have carrots. And she, uh, just a little tiny piece. Little tiny piece. Okay, that's enough. No carrot for you. No more. The winner eats the carrot. <laughs> Gabby. Good girl. Look how pretty you guys are. Um, so anyway, I definitely don't want Storm alone. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We're, we're still figuring it out, but I will let you know we're getting help. We're gonna like try and integrate them tomorrow, I think. That will make a good video though. Um, anyway, see you guys later and thank you so much for watching.